Okay, so here we have our globe of the world. A, our Earth is round, but you will sometimes see different maps that are flat of the Earth. That is just put in projection for us to look at, but we know that the Earth is round. Now this is our globe, but just flattened. So what we reviewed are different countries and different continents. So we know that we live right over here in, in the United States of America. That's the country we live in. But now that was fifth grade terms. We are moving ahead in sixth grade and we're really focusing on the continents. So all of these different bodies of land. Okay, so it's all the different colored ones. There's seven of them. The pink is North America. And we know that that is the continent which we live on. There's North America, South America. These two are conjoined. North America, South America. Then we go over to Africa. Above Africa is Europe connected to Asia. Down here is Australia. And at the very bottom is Antarctica. Those are the seven continents. Now our five oceans. We're over here in the United States. We, our ocean, I keep referring to that, is just a little joke, is the Atlantic Ocean. So if we go to New Jersey, uh, maybe the Carolinas, Florida, we are going to be swimming in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, if we go across the country to, say, California, we're going to be swimming in the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean, remember the world is round, goes all the way around next to Asia. This is the Pacific Ocean. Next, we have up at the top, the Arctic Ocean. And down at the bottom, we would have the Southern Ocean. For some reason, it's just not labeled here. But the Southern Ocean is at the south, the bottom of the map. And last but not least, we have the Indian Ocean, which is just south of Asia. Okay, so going back to our globe, we have, which we learned last week, four hemispheres. Now, the word hemisphere in that word is the word sphere. Many of us have learned that a sphere is a circle. That I do right up here. So a sphere is a circle. Now we're going to be breaking hemi, breaking it into half. So if this is our sphere, we are going to be breaking it into, let's pull out this highlighter. We are going to be breaking it into two. So I'm going to draw right along this line which is called the equator. Okay, so in pink, what I just broke the globe into two, that's called our equator. It's an imaginary line that breaks our globe, our world, up into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So everything above this line is in the northern hemisphere and everything below the equator is the southern hemisphere. Now, there is one more line, imaginary line, that breaks the world up into two. So let's pick a different color for that. We will do, let's see, it's so hard to choose. We'll do green. Okay, now that is the, right about here, prime meridian not super even. Okay, so this is the prime meridian, another imaginary line, but this time it breaks the world up into the western and the eastern hemispheres. Okay, so remember our compass rose. It had four main cardinal directions, north, south, west, and east. We know north is always going up, south is always going down, and then how we remember west and east, 
it spells the word we. So we always read and write from the left to the right. So it spells we, west and east. So the pink-ish line is the equator, and that breaks into the northern and the southern hemispheres. And this green line that runs from the north to the south breaks the globe up into the western and the eastern hemisphere. Okay, so when I drew the line for the equator, we saw this whole top section is the northern hemisphere. This whole bottom section is the southern hemisphere. Now, if we look at this green line, the imaginary line called the prime meridian, this whole entire side is the western hemisphere. And over here, this whole entire side is the eastern hemisphere. Okay, so those are the four main hemispheres which link directly to the four cardinal directions that we have been talking about.